This is a stock photo of water bottles made by Aladdin featuring a useful two-way lid. It's an excellent insulated water bottle in its own right, having a large second opening below the tapered neck for adding ice or for easy cleaning. But this fantastic water bottle also makes a great bicycle tool kit. Be advised, the prices for this bottle are as high as $35 in some places. But shop around a bit and you won't have to pay too much. I found one in my local department store for less than $10. I recently created a makeover video about my Huffy Cruiser, so I'm borrowing images from that video to use in this topic. That video, titled Phase 3 Do-It-Yourself Make Your Own Bike and Bicycle Solar Power Lighting and Electrical System, is also still available on my YouTube channel. But getting back to the subject, that purple water bottle on the center post is my new tool kit. I put the tool kit there for a reason. This bicycle came from the factory with pre-drilled and tapped screw holes on the center post for a water bottle holder. I wanted a mounting that would not slide out of location under the weight of tools. Aftermarket bottle holders, on the other hand, usually clamp to the frame and are not nearly so secure. Taking a closer look at the bottle itself, here it is with the largest of the two lids removed and some of the tools partially removed from the bottle. I cut the elastic top off an old cotton sock and then put the toe of the sock into the water bottle to minimize scuffing of the bottle and to help prevent tools rattling while I ride. I can fit a lot of stuff in this bottle, including many small items like tire patches and spare fuses. The one thing I can't fit into the bottle is my tire pump but I was fortunate enough to find a compact pump with a mounting bracket matching the bolt hole pattern for the bottle holder. There's the tire pump, double parked with the bottle holder on the center post, and sharing the same mounting bolts. Since I'm using the center post bottle holder for my tool kit, I bought an aftermarket holder that came with hardware, including clamps, to mount it just about anywhere else on the bike I wanted. But in my case, I just put the second bottle holder right there on the rear side of the storage crate where I can reach it easily. This is actually more convenient than fumbling around under the seat to retrieve it. So there you have it. A secure, neat, convenient, and weatherproof way to store a surprisingly large amount of tools and maintenance items and without spending a fortune. This is Clarence. Be safe out there and thanks for dropping in.